doing, H cuties? How you doing? Me? I'm not doing so good. I didn't get nominated. I didn't get nominated. I guess the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences doesn't like to laugh or answer fun trivia questions or nominate things that aren't movies. You think I made enough bad Morgan Freeman impressions and Ace Ventura references to get at least a nod, right? I was already scheduling my dinner with Dev Patel. We were gonna go to Buca de Beppo. I guess that's off, but you know what's on? HQ, the trivia game show you play on your phone where you answer questions to win cash. I am your host with two horns, Quiz Khalifa, AKA Host Malone, AKA the Trap Trebek, Scott Philly Boy Roy Gowski, coming to you live from the greatest city on earth, Lower East Newbridge Heights. Chain fighting tonight with all 1.1 million of you. There are over 1 million of you live right now, including Cami Baum, Susan Armbruster, Clark McCauley, Rebecca, Betty Kobach, Alex Wiles, Shelly Graff, all celebrating birthdays, by the way. Happy birthday to y'all. Happy anniversary to Katrina and Jake. Hello to Dave and John. And hello to AE Phi at UF, University of Florida. Go Gators! Is this your first time playing with our trivia fire? Careful, you might get burned. Here are the safety rules and regulations. I asked 12 questions, you have 10 seconds for when I start reading the question to tap your answer. If you get it right, you move on to the next round. If you answer all 12 questions correctly, well, you win or split our cash prize. And tonight's prize, we've upped it. We upped it today, folks. You are now playing for 2,500 Didos, 2,500 Deftones, 2,500 Dollary Doos. You can buy the brand new GG Allen box set for that kind of money. The entire discography comes with an actual jock strap put out by Stereo Laughs, available for pre-order. Folks, you guys ready for a quarter hour of mirth, trivia, and mayhem? Come on, y'all, it's time to have fun. C come on, y'all, it's time to have fun. Is your phone charged? Is that chat swiped? Are your grandparents Skyped? Talk to them before the show so they don't call during the show. That's a pro tip. Now let's get down to quizness. Quiz with me and get some money. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Let's get this show on the road with over 1.2 million players. Cumero, numero, uno. What are the names of the Rice Krispies mascots? Hall and Oats, Pinky and the Brain, or Snap, Crackle, and Rice Krispies, yeah, crispy. Who's staying crispy on Q1? Well, it's the same sound that my dad's knees make when he gets out of bed in the morning. Shout out, Sidekick Marty. You got Cubo. This quiz is on my list of the best things in life. Q Charlotte in Charlotte's Web. A spider, a dodo bird, or a wolfen? Spider, dodo. to be precise, Charlotte weaves her web and 1.1 million, 3,207 of you are spitting silk onto Q3. The rest of you caught in a tangled web of wrong answers tonight. Wolfen, by the way, a fan favorite here at HQ. If you want to send us your photoshops of a Wolfen, perhaps on a movie poster called perhaps Teen Wolfen, maybe Wolfen of Wall Street, Maybe where's Wolfo? Come up with something and send it to us. I want to see it. We got Q3. If someone is described as being all thumbs, that means he or she is what? Easygoing, clumsy, or swifty? All thumbs. I mean, I'd say if you're described as all thumbs, that means you're good at HQ. You need those thumbs to tap those answers. But according to Merriam and Webster, all thumbs means you are lacking dexterity. You're clumsy, folks.
1,730. Well, you guys aren't all thumbs. You are definitely coordinated on the mark tonight. We did lose over 200,000 there. You guys are gonna be left twiddling your thumbs tonight. But the 835,000 Thumbelina is left. You're hitching a ride to Q4. What does the US Marine Corps motto mean in English? Final strength, always faithful, or never. It's a two-parter. You gotta know what the US Marine Corps motto is in Latin and then translate that. Or maybe you just know it in English off the top of your dome. If you get this wrong, don't lose your semper. You can always return for the next game. Have faith. The full phrase is Semper Fidelis, but it's usually shortened and seen on bumper stickers as Semper Fi. 357,067, well you gotta have faith, but oh boy, Oberto, this is a savage question right here because we just lost over 400,000. If you've played this game before, you've seen this movie before, 357,067 are reaching out and touching faith, reaching out to Q5. The rest of you, well, you're the many, you're the ashamed, you're the, you're the HQDs. You're not the Marines, you're not the few, the proud, you're the many shamed HQDs. Come back tomorrow. Q5, which of these songs has not been incorporated into a Swiffer commercial? Gangnam Style, Who's That Lady, or Whip It? Do -do. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do you might be letting out a sigh of relief if you picked Gangnam. Gangnam? Gangnam? We never figured that out. Because Who's That Lady and Whip It have been used in Swiffer commercials. When you got a dirty floor, use a Swiffer. Gangnam Style's your answer. Gangnam Style's your answer. However you want to say it, 204,330. Remember their daytime TV, their commercials. Who's That Lady? That's the one where the Swiffer falls in love with a lawn flamingo? Yeah. Or Simone Biles. Is it? It's not good to be tall and low to the ground so you can tumble, somersault, do your routines. If you put them all in a lineup, Mary Lou and Gabby would be standing toe to toe, head to head, evenly at four foot nine. But it's Gabby at a towering five feet two. Competition and 81,911 are pommel horsing their way onto Q7. The rest falling off the beam at Q6. 100,000 plus we lost all that training and you fell at Q7. Was it a Pirates of the Caribbean movie or was it a, a Peter Pan adaptation? Glenn Close loves doing the gender bender thing, playing men. Shout out Albert Nobbs. She is credited in this movie simply as gutless. She's the pirate that gets sent to the boo box by Dustin Hoffman, who played the titular Captain Hook in the movie Hook. That's why it's the titular Hook. 41,558 of you remember that 1991 Spielberg hit? You guys are flying off to Neverland. The rest of you, 36,000 came oh so Glenn Close, but not Glenn Close enough. Q8, which of these presidents was born east of the Mississippi? Bill Clinton, Ronald Reagan, or Harry S. Truman? East of the Mississippi, that mighty river. Arkansas and Missouri are located just to the west, just to the west of the Big Muddy, which means... Because that's where they were born, respectively, in those states. However, Illinois native Ronald Reagan is your answer. Illinois east of the Mississippi, Tampico, Illinois. And 11,462 got it right on another savage question here at Q8. Randy Savage coming in with a flying elbow drop. 
finishing off 28,000 plus of you, but 11,462 got that ill communication, Illinois communication. You guys are fighting Illini, the rest of you teaching that weeping willow how to cry, cry, cry. Q9, which of these states does not have a Trader Joe's? Hawaii, Texas, or Massachusetts? Trader, Trader, Trader Joe. His name is Trader Joe. Sometimes Trader Giotto, Trader Jose, but to the people of Hawaii, he's Trader No, because there are no Trader Joes to be found in the Aloha State. 4,000. It's ironic because the Trader Joe's uniform is a Hawaiian shirt. Held of a legendary Canadian politician. 24 Justified or 30 Rock. The lead actor of this TV show is the grandson of a legendary Canadian politician. Another way to phrase the question, if you had trouble figuring it out, some layers here, you gotta peel back the layers. Tommy Douglas was a premier of Saskatchewan, credited with bringing universal health care to Canada. Yeah, he sired Donald Sutherland who spawned Kiefer Sutherland, which kind of makes Tommy Douglas the Jack Bauer of Canadian healthcare. 24 is your answer if you hadn't figured it out by now. Kiefer Sutherland in 24 as Jack Bauer and 1,793 of you. Well, you got 24 and there's so much more. Well, just two questions actually. The rest of you, time running out. That clock, tick, tick, tick. No mas. Q11, which of these things comes with a new bottle of Dom Perignon? Coquillage, Musilet. My Francais for this one. Coquillage, Musilet, ou uh, Brindille. Brindille, huh? Have you ever wondered what that cage around the cork on a sham? You've probably seen it. You might have unscrewed it. Well, I'm going to tell you what it's called, and it's going to be the end. Musilet. Musilet is that little wire cage around the cork and 500 got it right on this brutal Q11. Oh, we just lost over a thousand players there, falling flat, just coming up a bit short tonight. But for the 583 HQDs left, you are one question away from popping bottles, breaking out the bubbly. This is it, Q12, it all boils down this 583 players 2500 dollars who's counting stacks an extra stack tonight q12 beanie babies were launched in the same year as what film jurassic park airbud or toy story beanie babies shout out valentino shout out the princess die one I think her name was Princess. Those weren't originals. The nine original Beanie Babies made their debut in 1993. Spot the Dog was one of them, one of the original nine. But Air Bud came out in 1997. Not the answer. Toy Story spawned an entire toy empire in 1995. No Beanie Babies there. 1993 will forever be remembered for three things. The Toronto Blue Jays winning a World Series, dinosaurs on film, and Beanie Babies in your cabinet. Jurassic Park is your answer, and we got some winners, baby. Going back, back, back to Jurassic Park, Isla Nublar? Who's vacationing on Isla Nublar with their money tonight? 291 of you, baby! <laughs> And 91 of you wearing the crown tonight. You are king and queen of HQ Castle, the HQ universe you rule over.